Well, good evening. Uh, this is Pastor Rob, and I thought I would uh, do a devotion with you uh, for this uh, Monday, uh, May 11th. I believe it's May 11th, yes. And um, what I'd like us to consider is John 17, starting at verse 25. And uh, I'll be reading uh, the prayer that our Lord Jesus prayed to his Father. And the Apostle John writes the following by the Holy Spirit. Jesus prayed, O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I make known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. I don't know about you, but I find these words to be very, very reassuring. And why is that? Well, we're told uh, in these verses that Jesus has come to make known your name. Whose name? God's name. And how does God want us to call him. What does he want us to call him? He wants to call him, he wants us to call him Father. Father. We are invited by the Father through Jesus to approach him as our Father. Think about how important that is. We don't approach him as the angry judge, we approach him as our loving Father. Now, I realize that there are a number of people uh, where uh, to call God Father seems rather hard to do, and the reason being that you know, our earthly fathers maybe had not been uh, the fathers they should have been. But please understand that no earthly father is equal to God the Father. In fact, we're all very, 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 very poor substitutes. Why? Because we have sin. We're imperfect. We have an imperfect nature. If you are looking to God uh, with the image of your earthly father, then you're, you're, you're giving God the wrong image. In fact, you're, you're worshiping a false god. Think about that. If the image that's in your head of God is of an angry parent, maybe your own, then you're worshiping a false god. That's good news. Because you can put that away, and that's not who God is. If you want to know the nature of God, then look to Jesus. Jesus is the heart of the Father. If you want to know what kind of God you have, look to Jesus. He has come to reveal the Father. And what does Jesus show you? That he loves us. That he has come to save us from the power of sin, the power of the devil, to set us free uh, from the tyranny of the evil one, and to bring us uh, into heaven and to peace and life and joy and health. He has compassion and mercy on everyone. And yes, while he hates sin, the Lord Jesus always reaches out to the sinner to rescue them out of their bondage to sin and into life. This is the heart of the Father. He loves you. He wants what's best for you. He wants to bring you out of every trial and bring you uh, into a place of solid faith, love and obedience and holiness and joy and righteousness, and peace in the Holy Spirit. You have a God who loves you and wants you to come to him with your needs, with your heart. He wants you to come to him expecting that you'll be loved and heard because he loves you. He's your father. And he sent his son into the world so that that relationship that was broken by sin that made us enemies of God that relationship would be restored 
so that we are no longer enemies, but friends of God, children of the Father, and heirs of eternal life. God so loves us that he sent his son so that he could forgive us and bring us home. You ever have that sense that things aren't right and you want to go home? Well, God has provided that opportunity. If you would turn to God, repent of your sins, turn to Jesus, you will meet God in a new way as your father who will restore you to the inheritance that was lost and bring you back to the home that you've been longing for of righteousness, peace, and joy. God so dearly wants to be your father, not your judge. Come to him in faith. Cry out to him, and he will make you a new creation. It's for this reason that Jesus came, that you would know God as Father. And it's for that reason that he promises to live in us, as he says right here, that he will be in us by the Holy Spirit, so that we may know God as the loving God, the caring God, the forgiving God, the healing God, the God who cares for us, and he will protect us from the enemy. So, no matter what you've done, no matter who you are, if you want to go home, look to Jesus, because he has come to bring you home, to show you the love of the Father, and to bring you into a relationship with God as your Father, to whom you can come with every need and every concern and know that he loves you, and he will answer you, and care for you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have sent your son so that we can be your children, and you will be our father. Lord, help us to see you rightly. Not in the image of, of maybe parents or authority figures who have let us down, but in the image of Jesus, who you sent. He is truly the image of God. Lord, we glorify you for Jesus. And in his name we come to you as our Father, seeking forgiveness and new life, and knowing through him that we have mercy and not judgment. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen.